Are we this week? Good morning, children. Welcome in SST class. Children, chapter number six. Reading is completed. So today we are going to start the exercises part of chapter number six. Chapter number six: the coastal plains and the islands. Okay, children. So we'll do the exercises part from page number fifty-six. You should be ready with your works. Okay, and stationery. Right. Number one. Choose the right answer and put a tick. Part of Western Coastal Plains that lies in the south is. You know that Western Coastal Plains. See, this is Western Coastal Plains, and part of Western Coastal Plains that lies in the south, in the south side, that is Malabar Coast. So, options that are given: Northern Sikkim, Coromandel Coast, Malabar Coast. Or Konkan Coast. So answer is Malabar Coast. So you have to put a tick on C part, Malabar Coast. So it's okay. Put a tick on C part. Important seaport in Gujarat is, and the options are Ahmedabad, Kandla, Panaji, Paradi. You know that Ahmedabad is the largest city in Gujarat. Kandla, yes, this is the important seaport in Gujarat. Panaji. That is the capital city of the smallest state, Goa. Paradip. That is in Odisha. So answer is Kandla. So you have to put a tick on Kandla. Number two, Kandla. Number three, important tourist attraction in Goa is the Selika of Bom Jesus, Gir Forest. No, Gir Forest. That is in Gujarat. Elephanta Caves. That is in Maharashtra, Marina Beach. That is in Tamil Nadu. So answer is Basilica of Bom Jesus. Okay. Number four. Capital of Andaman and Nicobar Island is. And the capital of Andaman and Nicobar is Port Blair. Okay, so options: Kavarati, Panaji, Katak, Port Blair. So answer is Port Blair. So you have to write a tick, put a tick. Okay, Port Blair. Indira Point, the southernmost point of India, is located in Lakshadweep. Andaman, Nicoba, Kanyakumari. So answer is Nicoba. So you have to put a tick on Nicoba. Okay. Now on B part, that is fill in the blanks. Number one, the dash of India extends along the coastline all around the peninsula. Coastline ki bilkul. Uh, sorry, the coast, the dash of India extends along the coastline all around the peninsula, and that is coastal plains. So you have to write the answer: coastal plains. <coughs> Next, the western coastal plains stretch from run of Kutch to Dash. You know that here you can see. Western coastal plains. Okay, here run is Kutch. That is in Gujarat. Okay, the western coastal plains stretch from run of Kutch to Kanyakumari. Okay, right. So you have to write Kanyakumari. Dash are small saltwater bodies separated from the sea by rocks and sand, and that are lagoons. So you have to write the answer: lagoons. Eastern coastal plains are called dash in the north. You know that here are eastern coastal plains. Okay. And eastern coastal plains are called in the north. I'm talking about in the north that are called northern sarkar. So you have to write 
northern number 4 northern sarkars our freedom fighters were imprisoned in the dash at port blair in which jail that is cellular jail so you have to write the answer cellular jail number 5 what you will write cellular jail okay children so you just see the answer is cellular jail now we'll go we'll start c part state whether the, whether the following statements are true or false number 1 is an island surrounded by water uh, an island is a land surrounded by water on three sides no an island is a land surrounded by water on all sides so this is false so you have to write number 1 false number 2 konkan coast is a part of eastern coastal plains you just see here you can see this is eastern coastal plains okay and konkan coast is a part of western coastal plains okay so this is false so you have to write false number 3 andaman and nicobar islands are located in the arabian sea andaman and nicobar islands are located in the bay of bengal so this is also false so you have to write false number 4 important port in kerala is kochi yes this is absolutely right so you have to right true so children you have to complete exercises part in the book from page number 56 and page number 57 okay children so children just take out your explorer book and we'll do the worksheet worksheet number 1 okay of chapter number 6 so you have to take out this is worksheet number 1 of chapter the coastal plains and the islands okay children a part draw western coastal plains and eastern coastal plains in the india map okay see this is the map of india and in the center here you can see the tropic of cancer okay passes through the middle of our country so this is dotted line this is tropic of cancer okay children you know it passes through the middle of our country okay children so what we have to draw we have to draw only western coastal plains and eastern coastal plains and children you know very well the area of land that is next to or close to the sea okay that is coastal plains and southern part of india is surrounded by arabian sea in the west the side arabian sea and indian ocean in the south and bay of bengal in the east isn't it so, on the east, there are eastern coastal plains. This side, east side, eastern coastal plains. West side, western coastal plains are there. Okay. So, both these plains meet at the southernmost tip of the Indian Peninsula at Kanyakumari here. Okay. And, uh, you know, western coastal plains here, you can see, stretch from Gujarat in the north to Kanyakumari in the south. You stretch from Gujarat in the north. So, draw a line. Okay. And... You know that these are narrower. Okay. Means the western coastal plains are narrower. If we will compare with eastern coastal plains. Okay children. So you have to draw a line very close to this line. Okay. In this way. Okay children. So this is this part is western coastal plains. So simple. Now we will draw eastern coastal plains. Okay. So you just see. Okay. It is. These are wider if we we'll compare with western coastal plains. Eastern coastal plains are wider. Okay children. So you have to draw up to here. That's all. Okay children. And you know that eastern coastal plains is about 120 kilometer in width. You just see about 120 kilometer in width. 
and whereas the western coastal plains that are 65 km in width you just see okay so you have to draw in this way okay children so this is clear so this is this part is eastern coastal plains so you have to write here eastern coastal plains okay this part right right and this part here you will see western coastal plains that's all okay from here to here and eastern from here to here so this is clear so now i'm telling you about that b part circle and write the right answer the western coastal plains are located along the अरेबियन सी वेस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन्स वेस्ट साइड पे हमारा अरेबियन सी है एंड वेस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन्स आर लोकेटेड अलोंग द अरेबियन सी नेक्स्ट इज द सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ ईस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन्स रिसीव रेन इन विंटर सीजन ओके चिल्ड्रन सो नेक्स्ट दैट इज दैट इज द कैपिटल ऑफ उड़ीसा एंड भुवनेश्वर इज द कैपिटल ऑफ उड़ीसा ओके चिल्ड्रन द सैलर जेल इज प्रेजेंट इन पोर्ट ब्लेयर ओके एंड डैश islands are referred to as coral islands and that islands are lakshadweep islands you know now why we call coral islands to these islands and what is the reason because it is made up of deposits of the skeleton of sea animal called coral okay children so that's why uh, islands these island lakshadweep islands are referred to as coral islands okay children you have to complete this worksheet also okay okay children have a nice time